Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm WDD's Editor-in-Chief Janine Mooney and in this week's episode, Folding Drone Takes Off in a Third of a Second, Smart Pen Digitizes Doodles, Eliminates Need for Paper, and the Record-Breaking Hydrogen Car. Say goodbye to quadcopters. Swiss researchers have developed a self-deploying drone that takes off in a fraction of a second, then folds into a tiny square small enough to stash away in your pocket. When the propellers at the end of each arm turn on, the force of its two rotors pulls each foldable arm out into its extended position where it's held in place by magnets. To maintain stability while in flight, two of the quadcopter rotors must turn clockwise, with the other two turning counterclockwise. A sensor detects where the rotors are fully extended and locked in place, then reverses the spinning direction within 50 milliseconds. The arms are made of lightweight fiberglass and inelastic polyester, which creates a stiffness that allows for easy folding. By spreading out horizontally, the arms avoid imbalances caused by the laws of gravity. And because there's no need for an additional reinforcing mechanism, the drone is able to retain its light weight. When the drone's not in use, the arms fold into the shape of a trapezoid and wrap horizontally around the body of the device, making it super convenient to store and transport. The downside is, researchers haven't figured out a way to make the drone fold itself back up when it's done, so unfortunately you'll have to do some of the work. But even with its manual folding, drones this portable could have more use than just a fun pocket toy. Researchers are hoping the drones could one day be used as a first responder tool if outfitted with cameras. And at sizes like this, you could even have a whole swarm on hand. OTM Technologies is looking to free you from the limitations of taking digital notes on a certain material, like a whiteboard or a notebook. The free Bluetooth smart pen shoots a laser beam from its tip to allow you to write on just about any surface you'd like, like your desk or hand or arm or, well, you get the idea. It then monitors interference between this beam and the reflections coming off the surface. The information is processed by algorithms, converted into a motion signal, and translated into digital doodles instantaneously. Using the world's smallest 3D laser interferometer, Free is a stylish little tool that you can use to record notes on the go. So where can you access your notes? Well, pretty much anywhere. The pen is compatible with existing software on the market, but can also connect with just about anything that has a Bluetooth connection, like your phone, tablet, or computer, even your TV. Free features an OLED touch display on its side to show the time along with notifications, messages, and calls from a Bluetooth connected device, while a built-in microphone and speaker allow it to function as a handset to take those calls. Back this noteworthy smart pen on Kickstarter for $219. <laughs> The automotive industry has had a few crazy years with the advent of hybrid and all-electric cars, but another type of shakeup might be on the horizon, the hydrogen-powered car. Okay, so it's not so much right on the horizon as it is in the testing phases, but a hydrogen-powered racing car built by 2DEF has successfully completed a lap on the Nürburgring racetrack. The car, called the 4ZIX, completed the 13-mile course, which includes 73 corners in under 11 minutes. That makes it faster than any hydrogen fuel cell car yet, though it's not technically an official time. Driven by a Formula One racer, the car has been a two and a half year project by students at Delft University of Technology and reached speeds of 106 miles per hour, with the potential, the team believes, to reach speeds of up to 137 miles per hour. If that's not impressive enough, it can go from zero to 60 in just under four seconds. The engine operates by utilizing the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity with 60% efficiency, which gives the car a range advantage over electric vehicles. This version, as you may have guessed, is the sixth of its kind and offers upgrades like 135 horsepower fuel cell power and 258 horsepower boost power, plus a Ballard FC Velocity MK1100 stack with Ford's balance of plant hardware and software. It weighs in at just under 1,900 pounds on a Lotus 7 base frame with just under 7 pounds of hydrogen in the tanks. Though this is a great accomplishment for the team, they still have several challenging races ahead where they take on combustion engines in the hopes of showing what hydrogen can do. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on ECNMag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Casey Panetta, and thanks for watching.